International School Online Study System. I hope all of you will be fine at home. But I, we are doing economics here. Lesson number five: The India is pointed. And today, the topic for discussion will be the impact of inward-looking trade strategy in India. You know very well what is inward-looking trade strategy or the policy of production. But I, the policy of production or the import substitution policy it is a policy in which we have protected our domestic industries. We have imported the goods. the goods which we are important earlier now they are produced in india so what is the impact of that particular policy on indian economy we have need to discuss these impacts so the uh, inward looking trade strategy has a two kind of impact we have a good impact as well as we have a bad impact better right so let we discuss the good impact okay first point is that high rate of industrial growth and structural transformation the good impact of the inward looking trade strategy is that we have a high rate of industrial growth the industry has been spread all over the country during that period during that point of time industry was spreading all over the country and there is a structural transformation in india as well the structure we know that we have two kind of structure economic infrastructure and the social infrastructure we have economic infrastructure includes transportation energy banking insurance and on the other hand the social infrastructure includes health and education so due to the increase in the or the growth of the industries the industries has been become very familiar in india they were doing that period of time so there is a structural transformation in india it means the banking insurance energy transportation has been increased all over the significant in india right so we have the data has been given in the book is that the gdp is increased nearly from 12% in 1951 to nearly 25% in 1991 so the contribution of industries look in 1951 we have only 12% contribution of the industries in gdp but in 1990 uh, but in you know 1991 we have 25% of our gdp is come from the industrial sector so that is a well witness that the industrial sector has grown a lot here in india so rising share of industrial sector in gdp is a sign of economic growth based on structural transformation in the economy so the structure has been changed a lot in india due to the inward looking trade strategy structural transformation you know very well the banks have been developed insurance companies have been developed. up energy has been developed right roads communication facilities these all have developed that leads to a structural transformation in india also the economic growth with the structural transformation is called economic development so we have economic growth it means rising gdp with structural transformation is known as economic development so economic development contains two elements increase in the gdp growth as well as the structural transformation which is known as high rate of industrial growth and the structural transformation second point is that diversification of industrial growth you know very well what is diversification moving one industry from another is called diversification or making investment in more than one industries making investment in more than one industry is called diversification so during that era the era of 1951 to 1991 we have a lot of industries that has been open we have engineering goods industries we have consumer goods industries a lot of industry has been open at that point of time during that particular period so we are saying that the modern industry was long longer confined to textile and jute industry jo modern industries thi india ki that is not confined confined means restricted seemed to be basically so the modern industry is not only to confined to jute and textile but due to inward looking trade strategy we are also we are also spreading our foothold on engineering goods and the wide variety of consumer goods so a lot of engineer goods and consumer goods industry has been developed during that period of time also due to inward looking trade strategy there was a noticeable growth of the sunrise industries but i know very well what is you know very well i guess what is sunrise industry the industry which have a lot of chances for the growth in near future 
ठीक है नियर फ्यूचर दीज इंडस्ट्री विच है लॉर्ड ऑफ साइन ऑफ ग्रॉथ लॉर्ड ऑफ सिंबल ऑफ ग्रॉथ दे विल बिकम पॉपुलर इन फ्यूचर दे विल बिकम फेमस इन फ्यूचर दे विल ग्रो इन फ्यूचर दैट इज कोल्ड सनराइज इंडस्ट्री सो द सनराइज इंडस्ट्री हैज ऑल्सो बीन डेवलप एंड द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक पर्टिकुलरली इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इंडस्ट्री इज पर्टिकुलरली कॉल्ड द सनराइज इंडस्ट्री एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो द सनराइज इंडस्ट्री हैज ऑल्सो अचीविंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ग्रॉथ एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ पॉपुलरिटी इट इज वाइडली रिकॉग्नाइज दैट द इकोनॉमिक इंडस्ट्रीज वुड हैव फेल टू टेक द रूट इन द डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी इफ द प्रोडक्शन पॉलिसी हैज नॉट परस्यूड इट मीन्स इफ इंडिया हैज नॉट हैज नॉट adopted the inward looking state strategy these engineering goods industry consumer goods industries the sunrise industry will not grow up because the foreign companies will come in india and they will destroy the indian companies so due to the production policy due to the inward looking state strategy theek hai these industry in india has been grown up these industry in india has been spread they have a chance to develop they have a chance to capture the indian market but if the foreign countries has come in india they will exploit the indian economy indian companies will export because indian company will no longer able to compete with the foreign country at all they come with the latest technology lot of investment modern methods of advertisement and the staff is well very trained as well as very educated and having a research and development in their area as well so if India has not pursued that policy the indian industry will no grow up at all the foreign countries the foreign companies will destroy the indian company so that is also a achievement or a good impact of inward looking trade strategy the next point is that growth of automobile industry in india automobile industry means vehicle industry the four theek hai three wheeler four wheeler two wheeler industry so the automobile industry has also grown up in that era in that particular period of time exposed to international competition these industry would have been failed to survive so again if the policy of inward looking trade strategy has not adopted these industry will also failed right these industry will also fail the automobile industry will also fail so during that period we have a lot of diversification growth in the industries the engineering goods industry has grown consumer goods industry has grown sunrise industry has grown automobile industry has grown so that is why there is a diversification in the industrial growth next point is that opportunity for investment right so a lot of investment has done in that period industrialization has been done in that period so again the, a lot of employment opportunity has also been prevailed the small scale industry has been created by the government for the objective to provide employment to the rural people in india you know very well there is a hidden kind of hidden kind of unemployment prevail in the rural society of india in villages in india there is a hidden unemployment a lot of people has been put on one particular land where the five persons are needed 15 has been put on it so the rest 10 persons are they are you know hidden unemployed they are seen to be work but actual situation they are unemployed so hidden kind of unemployment has prevailed in india a lot but the government has opened the small scale industries which provide employment to the rural people in india which provide employment to the agriculture farmers who are who are much more than the needed they are put in the small scale industries where the capital are small very where the capital are needed very small it also implies the use of hidden resource or the latent resource latent means hidden resource which are no use so due to the opening of the small scale industry these latent or these hidden resource has been utilized for the production of goods and services in small scale industries new investment opportunity has implied new opportunity of self employment so the new employment opportunity has provided to the indian people okay which the people with the people has gaining a lot of chance to investment in the agriculture sector as well as in the small scale industries so it promoted growth with equity because we provide employment opportunity to the rural india they has also providing opportunity to compete with the rich people is there so there will be a equity between the rich and the poor if the people do not have any opportunity do not have any chance to compete with the rich people then there is an inequality been provided inequality been prompted but we are providing opportunity to the backward people to the poor people to opening up the small scale industry that give them the chance to compete with the rich people and the equity is prevailed in the indian market indian society yes 
these are the good impact of the involved looking trade strategy the other impact is the bad impact look at the bad impact so the bad impact is that first the growth of inefficient public monopoly you know very well you know very well india has given the power india has given the power to the government sector 19 before 1991 era is the era of doing anything or everything under the government sector you can't do anything under the private sector so government sector has a power at that point of time that is why their monopoly has been created and that monopoly is inefficient you know very well inefficient means acquisal एक एक्शल टाइप की मोनोपोली अराइज हुई इन इंडियन मार्केट में एंड वेन एवर दीज अज अराइज द कंज्यूमर विल बी एक्सप्लोइटेड द कंज्यूमर द कस्टमर्स विल बी एक्सप्लोइटेड सो द मोनोपोली हैज बीन अराइज द डू नॉट अपडेट देयर टेक्नोलॉजी एट ऑल दे डूइंग द थिंग्स विद द ओल्ड टेक्नोलॉजी ओल्ड मैथड्स दे आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू नो ओल्ड थिंग्स टू द पीपल which are related to the you know very ancient times no kind of modern technology or the modern goods has been provided to the indian public which they deserved but because of the government monopoly because of the government control they do not update their technology at all they do not update their method at all they continue to providing the old kind of goods to the people so there is a there is an example given in the book is that telecommunication was under government policy till 1990 so they are saying that before 1990 the telecommunication sector is under the government control and you have to you have to standing on the long queues lambi lambi line long queues you need to standing to take a connection of telephone a year six months two years has been passed but the connection has not been granted to the people they need a lot of going to the government offices the bsnl offices but the bsnl do not provide their connection because of the government monopoly what happen in these days if you want to purchase a particular sim you can simply go to a private person who is providing the sim you just need to provide aadhar card and he will give you the sim they will call at your home whether you want to take the connection or not but before 1990 you have to standing on the long queues to take the bsnl communication bsnl connection telephone connection that is a public sector inefficiency so they are saying that in this day you are getting the sms offered for a new telephone connection you can get a lot of connection okay on free of cost they are providing but that point of time they take a lot of money and you have to standing in the long queues to take the to take the bsnl connection that point is that lack of competition imply lack of modernization there is no competition at that point of time because the government has has looking for the policy of import substitution import substitution they had protect the domestic industries they completely protect the domestic industries by putting quotas by putting tariffs so what happens the sector the government sector or the private sector do not have any foreign competition if there is a no kind of foreign competition it is a sort of monopoly arise by you and you will charge whatever the price you want you do not update your technology at all right so the industry has been flourished as a near monopoly a monopoly has become for the government due to the policy of production they has putting the tariff and the quotas for the import of goods from the foreign foreign goods so so these has not updated their policy at all but prolonged protection failed to prompt the domestic producer to upgrade their modernize so producer has not upgrade their technology at all because they knows that there is no competition from outside nobody can give the competition and when there is a no competition you have to feel relaxed we do not need to update our technology we do not need to update our product we do not need to upgrade our methods at all so they are continue to rely on the old technology and the old people remember right now that fiat and ambassador they are the pride owner of the car at that point of time they have sort of monopoly of their in car they do not upgrade their technology they do not upgrade their engine at all for the cars so after the policy of production have was withdrawn people rejected these cars so fiat and ambassador has been rejected by the people after 1991 because the people has a lot of choice in the form of foreign product the foreign companies has entered the indian market after 1991 so fiat and ambassador has failed to attack the customer because their technology was too old too inefficient 
their matter was old their engine do not upgrade so that is why there is a lack of competition prompted the customer to not update their technology these are no kind of competition no type of modernization is there next point is indiscriminate spread of public sector indiscriminate refers to andhadhund it means andhadhund yani ki andhadhund phailao ho gaya public sector enterprise ka पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइज यहाँ जगह दिखाई देने लगे पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइज है स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द कंट्री एनीथिंग और एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी डन अंडर द पब्लिक सेक्टर सो मच दैट द पीपल सेक्टर दे बिट टू प्ले इन द रोल ऑफ क्रूसेड क्रूसेड स्टार्टिंग स्वेलिंग ऑफ द पॉजिटिव ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट टू प्राइवेट सेक्टर एंटरप्राइज सो द पब्लिक सेक्टर हैज स्वेलिंग स्वेलिंग मीन्स निकलना सो पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइज हैज स्वेलिंग द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द प्राइवेट सेक्टर the selling of the opportunity they do not allow private sector to enter into the market at all they create their monopoly they just give the second role to the private sector they taken the high role in their hands one can appreciate the commanding heights of the economy i already tell you what is commanding heights commanding heights refers to the industry which are used for the strategic significance which are used for the growth and development of the economy but one fail to understand the logic of when public sector started producing bad and shoes when the public sector producing capital goods the high quality goods then it is understandable but when public sector enter into shoes industry or the bad industry what kind of logic is there you don't even allow the shoes to manufacture by the private sector you don't even allow the bread to be manufactured by the private sector you yourself enter into the shoes and the bad industries so what kind of logic is that so everything has been failed that is a big bad impact of the public sector so there is a under the fall of public sector in all type of product even is the less important product like shoes and bread basically next point is that economically unviable unviable means unprofitable units unprofitable jisme lab na ho bilkul bhi haani hi haani aapko hoti hai unviable so economically unviable state enterprise a political compulsion ye yahan par aap se kehna chahte hain ki government sector ke wo enterprise jisme profit nahi hote loss hota hai unhe chalana bhi government ki kya ban jate compulsion majboori because of the political pressure जो विपक्ष में बैठी हुई होती है आपकी गवर्नमेंट दे मेक अ प्रेशर वाई यू आर क्लोजिंग द इंडस्ट्री वाई आर यू मेकिंग द पीपल अनएम्प्लॉयड लुक फॉर द एग्जाम्पल इफ ए स्कूल अ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इज रन हैविंग ओनली फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट एंड ट्वेंटी टीचर्स हैव बीन पुट फॉर दीज फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट वॉट हैपन ओनली फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर बट ट्वेंटी टीचर्स आर देयर गवर्नमेंट इज पेइंग सैलरी टू दीज ट्वेंटी टीचर्स आल्सो फॉर द मैनेजमेंट स्टाफ आल्सो हैविंग अज बिल्डिंग आल्सो फॉर द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर as for the dress of the students copy of the students also giving cycle to the student government making a lot of expenditure for what only for those 50 people it means government are running in a huge loss for running that particular school but still they are running that school because it is their political compulsion if they close that particular school what will the opposite party say ki aapne ek school band kar diya 20 teachers ko berozgar kar diya तो ये गवर्नमेंट की कंपल्शन या मजबूरी बन जाती है कि जो अनप्रॉफिटेबल अनवायबल यूनिट्स होती है उन्हें भी चलाना उन्हें भी रन करना तो ये सारे थे बैड इंपैक्ट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो ट्रेड यूनियन एंड पॉलिटिशियन अपोज शटिंग डाउन द अनवायबल एंटरप्राइज तो ट्रेड यूनियन एंड पॉलिटिशियन अपोज हो जाते हैं कि वाई आर यू क्लोजिंग दीज यूनिट्स आप क्यों यूनिट्स को बंद कर रहे हो इतने ज्यादा लोग बेरोजगार हो जाएंगे इतने ज्यादा लोग लो, काम नहीं मिल पाएगा बच्चे पढ़ेंगे काम भी दीज फिफ्टी स्टूडेंट्स तो गवर्नमेंट की एक कंपलशन बच जाती है कि अनवायबल यूनिट्स को भी चलाना तो ये थे आपकी गवर्नमेंट के गुड एंड बैड इंपैक्ट गुड इंपैक्ट में हमने देखा कि हाई रेट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ हुई साथ ही साथ स्ट्रक्चर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन भी हुआ इंडियन इकोनॉमी का डाइवर्सिफिकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ हमारी इंडस्ट्रीज नई नई इंडस्ट्रीज में कन्वर्ट हुई जैसे कि इंजीनियरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज आई कंज्यूमर इंडस्ट्री आई कैपिटल गुड्स की इंडस्ट्री आपके सामने आई सनराइज इंडस्ट्री का फैलाव हुआ ठीक है ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्रीज का फैलाव हुआ ठीक है साथ ही साथ अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट स्मोल स्केल इंडस्ट्री ओपन की गई ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को काम मिल सके और अपॉर्चुनिटी के अवसर प्राप्त किए जा सके बैड इंपैक्ट में देखिए ग्रोथ ऑफ इनफिशियंट पब्लिक मोनोपोली पब्लिक मोनोपोली का अराइज हो क्योंकि प्राइवेट सेक्टर तो आ ही नहीं सकता था ना फॉरेन कंपटीशन आ सकता था ना प्राइवेट सेक्टर एंट्री कर सकता था तो पब्लिक सेक्टर की एक तरह से आराम हो गया उनकी मोनोपोली क्रिएट हो गई इनफिशियंट करप्शन आया बहुत कुछ आया ठीक है तो काफी खराब रहा ये लैक ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन 
पब्लिक सेक्टर ने अपने आप को ग्रेड अपग्रेड किया ही नहीं ना कोई अपग्रेड टेक्नोलॉजी लेकर आए ना अपने मेथड को अपग्रेड किया ना अपने प्रोडक्ट को अपग्रेड किया बेटे फ्यात और एम्बेसडर आज भी जो पुराने बूढ़े लोग हैं वो याद हैं कि फ्यात और एम्बेसडर ओल्ड टाइप की कार प्रोवाइड कराते थे लोगों को बेटे लेकिन जैसे ही नाइनटीन आया उसके बाद लोगों ने फ्यात और एम्बेसडर की कारों को रिजेक्ट करना शुरू कर दिया क्योंकि तो ओल्ड टेक्नोलॉजी कब तक आप सहन करोगे जब नया प्रोडक्ट सब्सिट्यूट आपके पास आ जाए तब आप सहन नहीं कर सकते नेक्स्ट है इनडिस्क्रिमिनेट यानी कि अंधा धुंद फैलाओ पब्लिक सेक्टर का गवर्नमेंट ने अंधा धुंद फैलाव कर दिया भाई लॉजिक समझ आए अगर आप मोर इंपोर्टेंट इंडस्ट्री में पब्लिक सेक्टर को लेके आओ लेकिन लेस इंपोर्टेंट इंडस्ट्री शूज और ब्रेड में कहां तक पब्लिक सेक्टर को लाओ ये कहां का लॉजिक है कि आप पब्लिक सेक्टर से ही शूज और ब्रेड बनवाओ बेटे तो पब्लिक सेक्टर का अंधा धुंध फैलाव किया गया और लास्ट था भाई जो इकोनॉमिक अनवाइबल यूनिट होती है उन्हें चलाना गवर्नमेंट की मजबूरी हो जाती है तो ट्रेड यूनियन और जो पोलिटिकल पार्टियां होती हैं अपोजिट में वो प्रेशर क्रिएट कर है आपके ऊपर कि वाई आर यू क्लोजिंग दो यूनिट जिसकी वजह से बहुत ज्यादा लोग अनएम्प्लॉयड होंगे बहुत ज्यादा बच्चों को पढ़ाई से वंचित रख दिया जाएगा तो ये सारे थे आपके गुड एंड बैड इंपैक्ट ऑफ इनवर्ड लुकिंग ट्रेड स्ट्रैटेजी थैंक यू वेरी मच दैट लेसन हैज बीन फिनिश थैंक यू बेटे